A cluster block is a group of five satin stitches woven over four fabric threads. To work the cluster block, count four fabric threads and bring the needle down there. Let's see that again. Bring the needle up and over four fabric threads. Continue until you have five stitches. When you reach the end of the cluster block and it's time to turn the direction of your stitches for your next block, you do not want to carry your thread across the diagonal. Instead, reuse a hole and take the next stitch out at a 90 degree angle. Here it is again. Do not take the thread across the diagonal. Reuse the last hole and take the next stitch out to the side. This is important because diagonal threads between cluster blocks could get cut, ruining your work. I am doing a sewing stitch here where I put the needle in the fabric and out in one fluid movement. I find this is easier for me, but you may prefer a stick and stab movement. Do whatever feels the most comfortable for you. As you are working your cluster blocks, accurate counting is very important because our next step will be to cut and remove the fabric threads. If counts are inaccurate, the cuts will remove the wrong threads. What you want is continuous threads between worked cluster blocks. One way to know if your cluster blocks are correctly counted is to run your needle from a block on one side to the parallel block on the other side. Watch the threads as your needle runs along. If the cluster blocks are not parallel, you'll know your count was off. You'll need to find the error and fix it before you continue stitching. I do this throughout the stitching of my cluster blocks to make sure I am on track. This is what your project will look like when all your cluster blocks are completed.